Canon's professional print and layout software enables you to edit your print settings for the best results. In this video, we're going to run through the basics and give you some useful tips on how to get the best out of your next print. To get started, open the Canon Professional Print and Layout app. You can also run it as a plugin in supported software. Upon first opening, the software will ask you to register a printer. If this doesn't occur, you can do this manually by opening the Printer drop-down menu and click Add in the Add Printer box. Click Find Printer and select the device you would like to connect. To import your image, click the File tab and then Open. Then select your file and it will appear on screen. Or just drag and drop the file into the software if you find that easier. If your image has taken portrait, you can rotate the page so you can easily work with images captured, both portrait or landscape. Now you've chosen your image, you can toggle between a few different layouts to best suit your workflow, whether you prefer your select at the bottom or the side of the screen. Next, you'll need to input your paper information. Click the Media Type drop-down menu and select the paper you're printing on. You can then adjust the paper size just below that. There's the option to choose from the preset options or create a custom paper size in any dimension. When printing on some models, you can expand beyond this limit by selecting Photo Paper Long Form Printing or Fine Art Paper Long Form Printing to expand the print length. If you would like a borderless print, simply click the Borderless Printing button. You may need to reformat your image so that you're happy with composition. To do this, left-click on the image, select Crop, and move the image within the print lines to achieve your desired framing. To undo this, remove the borderless printing from the image, go back into the Crop window, and clear the crop. You can also change the size of the image itself in the Layout section. So if you'd like to print an A4 photo on A3 paper, you can do so and manoeuvre it within the page as you wish. Now onto your paper source, which will give you an option between the top feed or manual feed tray. Top feed will work for multiple papers at once, while manual feed will just print one sheet at a time. You may notice that some paper types will make this choice for you, automatically selecting manual feed tray, as this is preferred for premium paper types like fine art or barita. The same can happen when selecting print quality, as some paper types need more ink to create the best quality print, so it will automatically select Highest. On other papers, you can choose between this or Standard quality in the drop-down menu. Let's move on to Clear Coating. This improves the black density and lowers the graininess of your image, and it can also remove bronzing for black and white images. Open up this drop-down menu to choose between a few options. Auto applies this setting to identified areas that may need it most, Overall applies the setting to the whole print. On some models, printed areas is available, which applies it to the image, avoiding any borders. And none doesn't apply the setting at all. The two tick boxes below help to make your print look as true to life as possible. By clicking Use Contrast Reproduction, the software considers the type of paper you're printing on and adjusts the sharpness to give you an accurate reproduction of what is seen on your screen. If you select this setting, you can then tick the Use Depth Information to print photos with a natural texture and three-dimensional feel. For dual-pixel RAW images, more detailed corrections can be applied to reduce sharpness degradation that occurs when printing photos by using the depth information recorded at the time of shooting. When you're happy with the image and your printer settings, you can use the PPL software to add text to your print. This gives you the ability to add a header or footer to bordered images and even print the image data. Finally, for some added peace of mind, before printing, you can use the soft proofing button to simulate how your image will look when printed on different paper types, so you don't get a surprise when it comes out of the printer. This also gives you the chance to go back and tweak your image, so you get the best printed results on your desired paper. Once you're happy with your chosen settings, all that's left to do is click Print.